being able to design your own templates in Vitamy uh, is one of the most powerful tools. You can make your players stand out and put your branding forth in your players to make them very unique and memorable. The tool of choice is usually going to be Photoshop. But for those of us who don't have Photoshop in the budget, there are a couple free tools out there. There is a Photoshop-like program called GIMP, G-I-M-P. So uh, this is assuming that you've gone and downloaded GIMP and you've installed it uh, and now it's ready to be used. So I've gone online and found a, a picture of this lawnmower, old lawnmower from the front. And so I'm just going to pretend that I work for a lawnmower repair company uh, and I have a number of videos on how to maintain my lawnmower and so I saw this picture and I thought it was fairly unique and bold and, and I'd like to make a player out of it so I've opened it up in GIMP and now I want to start to make a custom player out of it so the first thing I'm gonna try to do is get rid of the background of this image and just be left with the lawnmower itself so the first thing I'm gonna do is go up into the toolbar and select uh, what GIMP calls the free select tool. So I'm going to double click on that and I'm going to make sure that feather edges is selected and I'm going to set the radius to 2. So I'm going to outline this lawnmower and delete the background and what this radius is going to do is just give you a little softness to the edge. So when I go into the image and I can click and I can start dropping what uh, what they call anchor points and I'm just going to outline the outside edge of what I want to be left with in the image. I'll fast forward through this so you don't have to watch me go through the entire image. Now that we've completed the outlining, you'll see a little dancing line around the entire outside edge of the uh, image that you want to create your player from. Uh, we need to go under Layer, under Transparency, and click Add Alpha Channel. Uh, then we're going to right click inside of here under Select. We want to invert the selection, so we're selecting all of this other outside stuff. And then we're simply going to press Delete on the keyboard and now we have just our lawnmower. Now there is this logo section here on the, on the lawnmower that I really don't like. So I'm just going to go a little bit outside of it. And outline. that area and what I'm going to end up doing is I'm going to click on that uh, color box here and I'm going to set this foreground color to one of these colors that closely matches the plastic cover so if I click on the eyedropper tool you'll see it change to an eyedropper and then I can pick this color right here which has changed in here I'm going to select OK and you can now see that my foreground color has changed to the color of this plastic. So if I go inside here now, click Edit, Fill with Foreground Color, it now blocks that out. Okay, so I'm really liking what I have here, except I don't want these hard edges around everything here. So uh, GIMP has this really cool filter called uh, Drop Shadow, which is under the filters, Light and Shadow. Uh, drops shadow. Uh, the settings that they give you are really good. I think it normally comes at 50 but I bumped it up to 80 and I'm going to click OK and you'll see it start to work and it's going to drop a drop shadow in there to just kind of soften up the edges a little bit. So I'm really liking what I have here except for uh, apparently this logo for the brand name of the lawnmower. Now, I do not claim to be a GIMP master by any means but I know my way around it enough to to get uh, what I need for making Vitamy templates so there is a tool called the clone tool so I'm gonna click on that I'm gonna come back into the image and if you hold down the control key on your keyboard 
you will notice that the icon changes. So basically what this is going to do is I want to replace this with what is over here. And I'm going to go right where the color starts to change. And I'm going to hit control and I'm going to click. So that is what's considered my anchor point. And now just with the mouse I can move over here, start clicking and dragging. Now I'm starting my click right where the color starts to change. So this is by no means going to pass a FBI uh, photo manipulation test or anything like that, but in terms of a uh, Vitami brandable player, I've now removed all of the branding, I've cut out the background, put a nice soft edge around this, and this is now ready to be used as the background for a Vitami player. So I'm going to do one more thing and just kind of crop the edge. So if you take this as uh, the select tool, rectangular select tool, and I'm going to s try and get this pretty tight on the player. Let go, and then I believe it is under image, crop to selection. That just tightens up the image right there. And now I'm going to save this file, save as. Uh, under select file type, I'm going to go with a PNG because that uh, has that, what they call an alpha channel, or the transparency, which I'll call this 3. I don't save over the top of my other file. Uh, merge visible layers, yes, and export. All of this should be fine. And click save. Moving back into Vitami, if I log in, I can start to design my player by clicking on Design Your Own. Give it a name. I'm going to make a channel. Save and continue. For my background, I want to change it to an image, and I'm going to upload that image I just created. As you can see, Vitami has brought in my lawnmower image. I'm going to put my video down here. I'm not going to use a banner. I'm going to take a logo and put that here. I'm going to put my channel listing right here. Take my video, make it a little larger. That looks good. want to see the thumbnail image for whatever videos I put in. Uh, I am a big fan of Verdana and I'm going to choose a bright yellow to match the deck of the yellow um, lawnmower. Uh, for my background colors on my channel I'm going to choose black and then for the highlight of the video that's playing I'm going to go with this dark green it's very lawn looking. Since I really don't have a uh, lawnmower business, I'm going to just put a Vitami logo in there, Vitami White. For the player, I'm going to change my control bar to that dark green to match. I'll bring that up a little bit. And now I think I've designed my player. This is very unique. Every time it's shared, it's going to look exactly like this. Uh, for my lawn mowing business, uh, I can put a a and add as many videos as I would like into this channel listing and put this on my website. 
So this is how you would use GIMP uh, on a Mac to manipulate photos quickly and freely uh, to make them into Vitamine background images. Thank you.